Hi everybody, welcome back to Sunshine Soap and Candle Company. Last week we had an opportunity to go up north into Washington State and visit with one of my favorite soap and candle supply companies called Sierra Candles. During that visit, we got to meet some staff members there. Hi, Kat and Yvonne. And they gave us a wonderful tour of the studio and the warehouse. And we got to put our hands on some of the product and really see what the store had to offer. If you ever find yourself in an area or you get an opportunity to go into an area where one of your favorite candle or soap suppliers is, if they allow public access to their storefront or their warehouse, you should definitely take advantage of that. Being in person really gives you a good idea of the quality of the products and also if you are afraid to buy something online and getting a chance to look at it in person really gives you an idea if it's something that you still wanna purchase when you get home um, off of their website. Also, fragrances. A lot of times just reading descriptions on website about fragrances is really hard to get a good idea of what the fragrances actually smell like and if it's something that you want. And of course, everybody knows in this industry that you can't return fragrance oils. So sometimes that can be a bit tricky, buying fragrance oils online. And when we went to go visit up at Sierra Candles, they have this huge display of fragrance oils where you can just smell every sample that they have which really surprised me. There was some that I definitely would have shied away from um, buying them online, but smelling them in person was a completely different experience. And some of them really surprised me as far as how much I did like them. Also being there in person, it was really good to see all of the different variety of products that they carry. Sometimes when you're going into a website and you're looking for specific things, you miss certain items that you might otherwise think are interesting or something that you wanna have. So there were things in there that I've missed in the past that I was able to see in person, like the variety of soap bases and a couple different types of waxes that I have not yet tried. Before going up there, I did ask my patrons if they had any questions that they wanted me to bring up to the store and ask the employees or the owners regarding what types of products that they carry and or candle making questions. And so we were able to do that. So come on, let's visit Sierra Candles. Hi, 
All right, everybody, so we are here at Sierra Candles, and this is up in Everett, Washington, and I'm standing here with two of the store employees. So this is Kat, and she is the studio manager, and this is Yvonne, and she is the warehouse manager, and they're gonna be giving us a tour of both the studio and the warehouse, and we are gonna be answering some of those questions that my patrons submitted. This is our studio, and first thing, we can do is our thermometers, and roll through all of our wicks, CD on one side, HTP on the opposite side. You'll notice over here we have all of our PET jars and all of our containers, our two ounce tins. Our four and our eight ounce tins are over on this side. We also have our liquid candle dyes. My favorite, I love the liquid candle dyes. This is probably one of my personal favorite products from Sierra Candles. Yep, absolutely. We always try to tell our customers as well, don't start with a dropper. Go with a toothpick. Yes. And yes. add just a little bit at a time because the color can get away so quickly. And it lasts forever. Absolutely. So all of our mountain core soaps. There's a lot to choose from here. So they have um, some cocoa butter bases, some clear bases, glycerin. Also they have um, the white and the hemp seed oil, which is very popular now, um, right now, shea butter bases. So I have used these bases in the past and always been very happy with um, the way they perform. And actually the clear melt and pour soap is really good at not like sweating or attracting moisture. So it's a really good soap base. Mm -hmm. And uh, right behind Corey, we have all of our kits. They are all $30 and all inclusive as to what you want to get started. Maybe doing a candle making kit, melt and pour, foaming sugar scrubs, bath bombs, and even cold process soap. Nice. They're all $30 except for the melt and pour, which is 21. So we're at the fragrance area, the fragrance center of the studio. And so Kat's going to talk to us a little bit about what they have to offer fragrance wise. I see there's just so many to take advantage of here. Hi everybody, I'm Kat, and right now, obviously, we're pouring for autumn. So I like to walk my customers through, obviously, we have so many fragrances, it's hard just to know exactly what everybody's gonna love. But to break it down a little bit, we pour Amish Harvest just about daily. Autumn Lodge is also a huge seller right now. Um, Farmhouse Cider. It's a surprising one. It's got a little sweetness back to it, but the cider really comes through. We're selling a lot of that. Can I smell that one? Absolutely. So we are right here. Okay. So this is the farmhouse cider. Oh, I have had this one before. Yeah, it's a good one. It's really good. And like you said, I think surprising in a way because it's got kind of that sweet back note, but it almost kind of smells. What's the top notes on it? The cider really comes through first yeah. and the sweetness doesn't overwhelm. Yeah. I think that's what everybody loves about it. It's just not so it's, sweet. And it's not too spicy. Absolutely. Where, like some ciders are, so that's a really yep. nice one. But then if you're looking for a spice, Grandma's Kitchen has a ton of like that apple pie smell okay, to it. Okay, I have it. to smell that one too. So now. that's right over here. This is so oh. awesome, by the way, just to see all these different fragrance oils. It's like everybody's dream. I'm super excited to be here smelling <laughs> these and talking with you guys today. It's fun and it's so nice now that we can actually smell the testers. For a yeah. year there we couldn't and just to try to go through and describe everything was just tough. It's really hard. and Yeah, we're good to be smelling all these again. This one smells awesome. Like you said, kind of apple pie. A little bit of bakery note to it. Really nice. Absolutely. It's awesome. And then of course our pumpkin sweet, and you'll have to smell these, starting with pumpkin creme brulee down, and they are so lovely. I have the pumpkin pecan waffles. So that one comes through really strong with the nut, and that's different. It's yeah. really nice. It does, but actually very balanced out. I like that one a lot. Yeah. And then pumpkin creme brulee, I know I've smelled it before. Yeah, super good. Mm -hmm. You guys used to carry one, I'm not sure, pumpkin and oat milk? Spiced pumpkin and oat milk. Yeah. Definitely one of our top sellers one of my, for the season. Yes, one of my personal favorites from Sierra Candles, this one. 
super good. Isn't that good? Yeah, so good. Yeah, and, and it, it comes through in wax just incredible. Yeah, it really does. Yeah. Yeah. So what do you think is your top seller for fragrance oils? And that must change seasonally, I assume. It sure does, but then I think that your avid candle makers, they're always going to pour the Palo Santo. They're always going to pour Santal. Volcano is huge. Black Sea really comes out. Um, sea Salt and Orchid is one of the newer fragrances that I've kind of embraced. It's incredible. And it, have you smelled or have you worked with that one yet? Um, I have used a brand of this. I don't know if it's from Sierra. I didn't order it from Sierra Candles, but I have some. Let me compare and see what mm -hmm. yours smells like. Yes, yeah, very similar to the one that I've used. It's a lighter smelling one it is. in candles, but I've used this one in, now is this one body safe as well? So here's what we have as a tool for our customers that come in house. And you'll find it on our website as well. All of our fragrances are on this sheet. And if they're soap safe, there's an asterisk next to it. And then also if it's phthalate free, it's indicated on there as well, there's a P. So if you go on the website and you pull each fragrance, yeah. it'll show you, um, and also there is a section on the website as well with all of the fragrance that's phthalate free. That's kind of nice. Yeah, that is really nice. And I really appreciate too that right on the label, it says soap safe, has the flash point and the vanillin content. So I have used a sea salt and orchid in um, body scrub and sugar scrub before. Oh, nice. Yeah, and it really was nice in the sugar yeah. scrub. This is so fun, oh my goodness. This is where I think our customers spend most of their time. It's just so nice yeah. just to be yeah. able to stand and smell. Well, and to actually get your hands on it, like you said, and Absolutely. not just read a description, but to actually like come in and say, oh, I've really wanted to smell this one for a long time. And I think you're one of the only ones that I've seen that carries Palo Santo. Oh, okay. So that's, that's nice to know that you guys have that too. Yeah, so another nice thing is that when our customers come in, they fall in love with the fragrance. We pour a four, eight, or a 16 for them on the spot. And if they'd like a seven pound jug or even more, we're happy to do that as well. That's awesome. Okay, and then I did have some questions that were submitted by my patrons regarding fragrance oil. So let me see if I can find those real quick. All right, so we are gonna answer some of those questions that my patrons submitted about the store and the products. And Yvonne is now here to help answer some of those questions regarding soap safe products and things like that. So one of my patrons, Keandra, had asked if, how do you determine what fragrance to use for what you're making? Well, Keandra, it's all very personal. Um, the biggest thing is that if you are going to be doing soaps, or any body creams or scrubs, you need to make sure that that fragrance that you're using is soap safe. Other than that, it's just whatever that fragrance does for you, whether it feels like something that you wanna use in a body scrub or a soap, or maybe no, maybe I just want that in a candle. For sure, and the other thing to take a look at when you're making something um, that's for body use is just make sure you're not exceeding those recommended usage rates. But really, like Kat said, it's a personal preference and what you like. Um, and All right, so we're here at the wax area of the studio, and we had a lot of um, similar questions coming in from my patrons regarding what type of wax is great for beginners and also wicking type questions. So I'm gonna let Yvonne talk to us about what types of waxes Sierra Candles carries and what her personal um, favorite is and mm -hmm. just the different blends that you carry and what are kind of their highlights or what are they um, best at, I guess, what are their best qualities? Right, okay, I understand. Um, we carry C3 and 464 for our container candles. We use straight-sided jars here. And C3 is an excellent beginner candle wax because it's a one pour. No coming back to heat up the tops. It just pours beautifully and it's very smooth. Um, but then equally, we have just as many clients that use the 464. You're able to go up to a 12% fragrance into this one and it has just the most gorgeous hot throw yeah. and cold too. You yeah. walk by it and you can smell it. So I've used this wax, I still have some of this wax, and I agree the fragrance load is um, 
the fragrance throw is great on this and it can take a lot of fragrance which I think a lot of candle makers like that but for ease of use and this one probably has a fantastic scent throw as well it's just it kind of a prep you kind of have to decide what what you like best and which one works for you the way you the way you like it exactly mm -hmm. and, and it, it is it's a personal preference um, the other the other, uh, we actually use the C3 in our uh, little candle kits that we sell too, just because it's so beginner friendly mm -hmm. and easy. Mm -hmm. All right, so what do we have up here? Okay, this is um, one of two of our blended waxes, and this is the um, 917. This consists of soy, coconut, and beeswax. So it's an all natural wax. All natural. So I'm really interested in getting my hands on some of that. I'll have to try some of that out. Definitely. Mm -hmm. We are actually experimenting with this tonight because this wax is new to us too. And we sample out. Our boss, Dana, has already done so. In fact, she poured this sweet little candle smell it. with the 917. Has a really good cold throw. And it has a very smooth top. It's almost shiny too. Yeah. Pleased. I can't but, wait to experiment with that one. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. And then our next one is our 921 Pillar Wax. And this is all natural soy too, with just a little bit of a soy additive to it. And this is what you would use for your wax melts. Okay, yeah. It's perfect. I'd love to try that as well. I get a lot of questions um, from everyone who watches my wax melt videos. They want to know what other types of waxes can you use for uh, wax melts? Um, and what soy waxes in particular are great for wax melts. So I, I'm excited to try this. I really didn't know that um, Sierra had so many wax choices, so this is a really good. Good, yeah. I'm glad. Yeah. We also do carry beeswax. We've got the white beeswax and the yellow beeswax, and a lot of people like to mix this in with some of our waxes. Yes, as an additive mm -hmm. to make the candle a little harder. Exactly. Or, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, a lot of the questions that came in from my patrons were around what we've discussed regarding the candle waxes and what types are great for beginners, what types are great for, for containers. So all of these are great for the containers except for the last one we talked about. Exactly. Okay, and then the other question that they asked was, this came in, uh, it was a common theme question. A lot of people, a lot of beginner candle makers want to know how do you determine which wick to use with which wax and container. So that is a tricky question. Um, I'm gonna let you go ahead and, and help <laughs> us um, address that one, but there's no real, I'm gonna say, concise answer, but um, Sierra Candles has some great tools, right? We do. Obviously, on our website, we have wick guides going, you know, depending on what vessel you have, and we have the recommended wick. Now, for our shop in particular, our C3, we always use HTP wicks for the C3. And sometimes some of our fragrances, the thicker ones, we'll have to either, we'd have to wick up sometimes, but that's, you figure all that out by testing. Each fragrance is different. It's going to perform different in wax. That's right. And yeah, so yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we always use HTP for the C3. Now the 464, we use the CD wicks. Mm -hmm. um, is that what you use? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For the 464. CD mm -hmm. wicks. And then this we're experimenting with tonight, Cat and I. But I do believe it's the HTP is what is recommended for the 917. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. then the pillar, I, I'm not really sure. We, yeah. We're going to find out. Yeah. <laughs> So, we're going to find out. <laughs> and all of this is available on the website regarding yes. a guide. So I think um, I have so she ha Yvonne has it all printed off, but you can also find this on the website as well. Mm -hmm. So this is a really, really good tool. So when you go on their website, it tells you basically the diameter. So if you've watched um, any of our candle making videos, you've seen that I always talk about how wide the container opening is, and that's going to help you determine your wick. This is a guide that they have on their website. This is your starting point. So of course, you're gonna take these suggestions and you are going to test first with one candle and see if you like um, the suggestion. And then if you like that, then you keep it 
And like Yvonne said, you're gonna test this with every single fragrance because everything's gonna work a little bit different. And then if you wanna make adjustments, you're gonna take some really good notes because yes. if you want to repeat the same result, you wanna remember what you did, or if you wanna make a change, you wanna make sure you write down. And then once you get that perfect burning candle, it's definitely something that you're gonna to want to take good notes on and keep it in your candle line, or if you're just a hobbyist, um, to make a perfect candle for gifting and enjoying in your own home. So this is a really awesome tool that they have right there on their website. Yes. All right, everybody, that concludes my video vlog with Sierra Candles. I hope you really liked it. I hope you learned a lot. I really enjoyed myself. Before I sign off, I wanted to share with you some of those fragrance oils that I picked up from them while I was there in person that I ordinarily probably wouldn't have picked up online and really, really like the way they smell out of the bottle. Cannot wait to be testing them out very soon in my bath, body, and candle products. So if you are a fan of Jo Malone, they have a whole series of Jo Malone types or dupes. And I was a huge fan of the Scarlet Poppy Jo Malone. A huge fan of that one. Big fan of the Wood Sage and Sea Salt Jo Malone type. And the Blackberry Bay Jo Malone type. Can't wait to be using these soon, hopefully. And then they also have some Lush dupes and the Olive Branch Lush dupe smells amazing. And if you're a fan of the Rose Jam by Lush, they have a really, really good Rose Jam dupe that I can't wait to try out. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up. Please leave a comment or question below. Share this video with a friend and subscribe to my channel.